send a WhatsApp message to my brother. Sure. What's the message? Let me know if it looks good. Sending your message. So yeah, the next time you're driving or commuting or you're out for a run, you don't have to take your phone out to send a WhatsApp message. Next, you could use Google Assistant to find out emails from specific people or with specific subjects without opening the app. Hey, show me emails from Anant. Show me emails with subject presentation. Next, if you use Google Photos to store and backup all your pictures, you can ask Google Assistant to find you photos or fetch photos of a specific type. Hey, show me my photos of hills. Showing your photos taken in hills. And there are actually no limits to what kind of photos you could look for. You could look for party photos or photos of birthday celebrations or a festive time like Christmas and it will search across all albums and fetch them for you. Okay, this happens pretty often. A lot of times you're heading back from work or you're heading to a party and people keep asking you how long will it take for you to reach, right? You can ask Google Assistant to temporarily share your location with them using a link and they can just tap on it and see where you are and how long it's gonna take you to get there. Hey, share my current location. Who do you wanna share this with? My brother. Okay, this one's super useful. A lot of times you take your phone out, stretch your arm, and you wanna take a selfie, only to find that it's too difficult for you to press that shutter key. You could ask Google Assistant to take a selfie for you in five seconds or eight seconds, and it will do it for you. Hey, take a selfie in five seconds. Okay, get ready. Next, did you know that Google Assistant can read out an article that's open on your Chrome browser for you, irrespective on what website you're on? Hey, read this article. Okay. From XDA developers. Here's the full list of Galaxy phones eligible for the Samsung Expert Raw app. And so the next time you're driving or commuting or you're walking and you still want to hear your article, you can do so, just have to let Google know to do it for you and make sure you've got a pair of your phones on. Now we all know that Google Assistant can make phone calls for you. So you could say call and name of the person and it will initiate the call. But there are other ways of doing that. You could say call and followed by a phone number and it will do that. Or you could say call my last recent call or most recent call or my last missed call and it will do that for you. Hey, call 999 9988. Calling 999-999-9988. Call my most recent call. Calling suspected spam. Now let's say you're in a club or at a store and you really like the background score, the music that's being played and you wanna know which song it is. You don't need to fire up Shazam or even install Shazam for this. Just fire up Google Assistant and ask which song is playing. That's it. Hey, identify this song. That one's top of the line by Cushy. Google Assistant can change system settings for you. So you don't have to always go inside the setting and turn it on or off. You can do so with just a single voice command. Turn on power saving mode. Brighten the screen up to 80%. Setting brightness. Turn on the flashlight. Turning flashlight on. And not just these settings, you know, the Google Assistant would work on most settings on your phone. So, and if you've got a Google phone, it's probably going to have a better integration than let's say on a Samsung phone or a Oppo phone or any other manufacturer. Now, I know you probably knew about this, but I still see so many people changing settings in the traditional way. It could be faster in some cases, but in some contexts, like when you're driving or when you're sleeping and your phone's away from you, you could do all of this with single voice commands. If you want to quickly clear your search history on YouTube or the web, or clear your conversations with Google Assistant, you can do so with a single voice command. Hey, show my Google search history. 
So this opens up a web page that gives you access to your web and app activity, location history, as well as YouTube history. And then you could go into one of those and then start managing that history. So if you click on manage history right here, and then you go into interactions tab on the right corner, you will see everything that you've done in the past on YouTube, and you can erase all of this, uh, you know, up to a few days or months. Fun stuff, Google Assistant can toss a coin for you. So all you have to say is toss a coin. Hey, toss a coin. Landed on heads. Now to make the most of Google Assistant, if there are some people that you interact with very often, whether you call them or you send an email or a message, set up your relationship with them. So go into Google Assistant settings and scroll all the way down to your people. And now over here, you can manage people that you interact with often by adding a person and then you can define your relationship with them. For example, I've got my brother set up right here. So I've defined my relationship with him in this drop down. Now, once you set it up, the assistant will know who is who. So when you say call my cousin or call my aunt or call my brother, they know exactly who you're talking about because you've established that relationship right here. By the way, Google Assistant can do a lot of other things for you. It can help you remember things, create lists, you can hook it up with your smart devices, turn them on or off, set up your alarms, multiple timers, use it to launch apps. But I just talked about things that I think are more useful in everyday life, except for maybe tossing a coin, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's it guys, and I hope this was really helpful. And if it was, you're gonna really enjoy watching these two videos, so make sure you check those out. And if you did enjoy watching this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.